We are now actually getting a proper bona fide Pixel Watch from Google. What's taken so long? I've no idea. Hey, it's John Tech here, and today we're going to be talking about Google Pixel Watch leaks. So, the Pixel Watch is happening. It's likely to launch alongside the Pixel 7 later this year and it will benefit from Google's acquisition of Fitbit. The Pixel Watch will join the market all, but dominated by Apple's Apple Watch. Samsung is making some very significant inroads with its impressive watches, notably the Samsung Galaxy Watch 5. But most people think Apple Watch when they hear smartwatch. Me, I'm more of a German man myself. I run plenty of miles a week, and I prefer to use a German Phoenix 7 as my daily driver. It isn't quite as smart as Apple Watch or Google's incoming Pixel Watch, but it has unparalleled exercise tracking facilities, which is what I am most interested in. But what about the Pixel Watch? Can it break into the market that is currently dominated by Apple and Samsung? As with phones, it will likely take a few good years and a solid few generations for Google to make a dink. Of course, this process could be expedited by a solid product with new interesting features, killer performance and decent battery life. But this isn't Google style, as you have seen with its phones, its headphones and pretty much all of its hardware released to date. And I have some very bad but totally predictable news about the Pixel Watch's battery life. How long will the Pixel Watch battery last on a single charge? Nothing is 100% official yet, but leaked documents obtained by a couple of sources claim the watch will be able to do 24 hours between charges. So you're looking at basically the same deal as Apple's Apple Watch. What does this mean? Well, sleep tracking is kinda out the window. For one, because if you wear a smartwatch with this kind of battery life all day, using it to its full potential and then go to bed without putting it on a charge, it will only make it through a few hours the next day at the very most. The Pixel Watch is set to run a 300 mAh battery. That's a larger than the Samsung Galaxy Watch 4, but quite a bit smaller than the newer Samsung Galaxy Watch 5. And the Galaxy Watch 5 will reportedly do 80 hours between charges, which for a small watch of this ilk is very impressive. It dwarfs basically everything else on the market. Another potential blow for Google's incoming Pixel Watch is that it will charge slower than nearly all of its competitors. Even Apple Watch, if this turns out to be true, Google has really dropped the ball. Designing a product with limited battery life is one thing, but then not including fast charge on top of that is just plain stupid. Apparently, it will take over 110 minutes to fully charge the Pixel Watch, which is beautifully slow, even by Apple's iPhone standards. It is a complete newcomer to the smartwatch space and it should have focused on fixing known issues with current Wear OS watches to cement its Pixel Watch as the de facto option for Android users. And that's all I have for today guys, let me know what you think about that and also don't forget to subscribe and I will see you soon.